Hello everybody, my name is Benjamin Blue, and we are go, go as Murray Walker would say on another match experience. Um, I am just leaving my house and I'm leaving my house at 6.33, which is very late to be going to a football match. That can mean only one thing, I'm off to Luton because I live in Bedfordshire. Um, so it's championship game week number 35. Part one, we're in the middle of a three game week, so there are five games tonight, seven games tomorrow. Um, and this is Luton versus Brentford. Brentford up there in the top six. Also tonight, West Brom playing Preston. Um, so reasonably difficult game for West Brom. Very difficult game for Preston. I know uh, not everyone can lose. Uh, and Forest are off to Cardiff. Um, so four out of the top six playing. So some chances for Brentford tonight if, um, I don't know what you'd um, prefer if you were a Brentford fan. I guess you are not really too bothered about West Brom because they're a fair distance ahead, nine points clear of third place. So probably if you're a Brentford fan, um, maybe you want a draw between West Brom and Preston and you want Forrest to lose over at Cardiff. Um, so it could be a good night for Brentford. They've all always been good to watch um, this season whenever I have seen them and I have seen them um, many times. So looking forward as ever to seeing Ben Rama and the um, boys from Brentford. Um, in terms of Luton, they are still down um, right near the bottom of the league. In fact, they are bottom of the league, but they have won sort of three in their last five or six, and they did have two back-to-back -back wins before a really key defeat at Charlton at the weekend. So Luton will fancy it. A lot depends on um, Izzy Brown. I believe he was not about on uh, the weekend, so... Um, yeah, um, as ever, Kenilworth Road is always fun. Um, some people say it's a dive. Some people say it's the most charming football ground you could go to. I don't quite know um, where I fall on that spectrum just yet, but um, we'll see how many posts there are in my um, line of sight towards either goal tonight. Um, so look, 6.36 now, so I've been babbling for way too long. So let's get down the M1 just because... I don't drive up and down the M1 every bloody day of the week anyway. I thought I'd give myself another journey on it just for fun. Hey, for God's sake, I'm going up to Hull to watch Leeds at the weekend. So, um, yeah, well, that might take me A1, mightn't it? What a life that would be, hey? Um, a different road for once. Um, right, so we'll pick this up uh, down at the ground, I presume. Teams in just over 10 minutes. Here we are, back once again on the mean streets of Luton as usual um, just park comedy where they've decided to sell three spaces on their um, parking spot um, looks like this entire road um, has got lots of people parked up for the football um, so I had to shove my car in a very small gap and move a wheelie bin out of the way but there we go I'm in ready to go uh, teams are in as well Luton without Izzy Brown which um, I always think um, damages them so um, probably looking at Brentford strong favourites now um, five minutes from the ground let's do it <laughs> and, and, oh. up, so. and then literally just came out of the <laughs> in 1-0 Luton, really deep free kick on the right hand side, Berry swings it um, across, the Brentford defenders let it bounce, honestly I have no clue who's put that one in but Luton will not care, 1-0, 9 minutes in. stoppage time it's another free kick from Berry on the right literally last kick of the half as you can hear curls it into the box headed half clear and I think it's Collins 
on the volley, smashes it in. Luton are 2 0 up against Brentford. What a first half for the Hatters. 2 0. Half time here at Luton. What a half for the Hatters. It's 2 0 to Luton over Brentford. They've completely done a job on the bees. Uh, surrender possession when they've needed to, back right off the front three and um, given a lot of space. But a couple of free kicks from Luke Berry, one put into his own net by Baptiste, and then right on the end of a half, Craney follows up and volleys in another, and they go in 2 0 up. Could be a precious three points for Luton, could be a bit of a blow up the top for Brentford. Let's see what transpires in the second half. 2-0, half-time. For fuck's sake, don't you take it! 82 gone, Brentford have one back. Ruslev down the right-hand side into the box. They've been giving loads of space all night. Cuts it back and Watkins slides it into the net. 2-1. There we have it, out of Luton and into the horrible, dodgy alleyway coming out of the ground here. Very scary. Um, and it was very scary for Brentford as well because Luton have won this one 2 1 with a really good um, fighting performance, it has to be said. Brentford getting a goal back right um, towards the end, last 10 minutes. But um, Luton really did restrict them, really low block. Um, got in the way of everything and um, did have their counter-attack so decent performance by Luton and they are putting some wins on the board um, as we come into the last 10 of the season bad result for Brentford as well I think Forest were winning and West Brom were winning as well so um, back to the car for the review and here we are on the home stretch really um, got taken out of Luton really weird way so no no main roads on the way back but I'm just a few minutes from home now um, it was loop to Brentford one um, big win for Luton um, tonight freezing cold getting out of the ground so um, eager really just to get back get into bed um, from a point of view of each team, um, Luton, great win, look a little bit more savvy, look a little bit more solid, a bit more pragmatic and they're getting some wins, they're giving it a good fight, you worry it might be too little, too late, they're leaving themselves too much to do but they're certainly giving it a good go and more um, performances like that um, at home and they'll be doing uh, really, really fine. Can they play? with as defensive a low block against teams lower down in the league, I wonder. But they're looking pretty tight and it's serving them well at the... Average speed check zone ahead. Average speed check zone ahead. Um, you heard it here first. Um, Brentford, yeah, not a good result for them. A few more of those and um, their automatic promotion dreams will be well and truly shot playoffs for them um, but they do need um, do need a little bit of a um, turnaround because results not great for Brentford at the moment. Um, I'm going to be back, it's a three game week in the championship this week so we've got split games Tuesday, Wednesday, five tonight, seven tomorrow so we'll do a bit of a preview tomorrow and then we'll review the whole bunch together. Thursday. Sorry, I don't know why I have to sound on on my phone. Delightful. Um, so I'm going to bid everybody farewell. That has been the match experience today for Luton versus Brentford. Nice little short one. Um, 10 to 11 now. So door to door. What's that? Um, four and a half hours. Not bad for um, after doing a day's work and getting in and out and doing a football match. Um, but looks like winter is coming, so batten down the hatches for the sleet and the snow that's forecast. Um, well, it's not going to lay, is it? 
Um, and um, bedtime for me. Thank you everybody for watching. Uh, ring the bell, subscribe, um, yeah, ring the bell for notifications, and follow me on Twitter at Benjamin Blue. Thanks for watching. See you soon.